Hey, this is Daniel with Arkansas State University in Newport's Adult Education. And today we are going to continue our social studies video series with part two of American Immigration. If you haven't watched part one yet, please go back and do so before watching this. Uh, this is where we left off from the first video, shows this immigrant family with all the opportunity in the world ahead of them. Here's another very famous picture with the question of what lay ahead. So these immigrants came mostly from Europe with just looking for opportunity. And they are going to find it in various forms in America. So keep in mind the immigrant and these immigrant families that are coming. So, so why did they come? Why would they leave everything they have, take two or three bags, and sail across an ocean? And this comes back to something that we see a lot in American history, and that's the push-pull. So one thing to keep in mind in Europe is, is people have been living in Europe for 5,000 years. And despite the Black Death, despite constant warfare, there was a lot of people in Europe. And it was becoming somewhat overcrowded, especially in the cities. There was agricultural changes. And that kind of goes along with the crop failures, too. You have the Industrial Revolution which is transforming farming from small subsistent farms to now you start having large farms that are able to mass produce crops. And that kind of drives out the small farmers. We see that today. Also, there was a phenomenon called the Irish potato famine. The average European male ate 15 potatoes a day. Potatoes came from the Incan civilizations in the Americas. And due to a parasite, it was literally impossible to grow potatoes in Europe for a long time. And this caused all kinds of problems, especially uh, disease, famine, so a lot of people were coming because of these changes in these crop failures, coupled with Industrial Revolution. And you also see religious and political turmoil. Kind of seems a little silly to us nowadays, but some countries in Europe, you had to be affiliated with the church, with the Roman Catholic Church or the local religion. And if you didn't, you were ostracized, which means you were kind of separated from the rest of the group. So there's a lot of things that are pushing these immigrants out of Europe. And also you have the pull factors of freedom. I believe sometimes in our country we take freedom for granted just because we've had it for almost 250 years. But these people coming from Europe never had it. So that was very appealing. Economic opportunity. Notice how it doesn't say a uh, guarantee of getting rich, just the opportunity to grow financially was something that these European immigrants had no concept of. And the last one is land. Most of these European immigrants coming from Europe are farmers, and really all they want is a piece of land that they can farm themselves and be self-sufficient. So there's a lot of pull factors that are pulling these immigrants to America and a lot of push factors that are pushing them away from Europe. And here are some pictures. The Statue of Liberty is a symbol of American immigration. Just absolutely amazing how many people they would put on these boats to come over. And just the massive growth, you can see just the growth from 1850 to 1900. So keep the immigrant in mind. Keep the impact of these immigrants coming to America in mind as well. And we will continue our series with part three.